Two exciting new studies published last week in the science journal Nature have uncovered the first common genetic link to autism. It's a gene variant that researchers say could account for about 15 percent of cases. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. Nice looking, good for you, get a sticker. Autism is a lifelong neurological disorder that affects a child's IQ, social skills, and ability to communicate. One in 150 children, one in 94 here in New Jersey, is now being diagnosed on the autism spectrum. What causes it? Researchers at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, known as CHOP, say they found an important piece of the puzzle. A gene variant on chromosome 5 that affects brain connectivity. Every time we learn something, we make new connections. And if, if you have a mutation, you may not shape these or make these connections in a normal way. Dr. Halkin Halkin Arson, a geneticist and lead author of the study, says this discovery may be responsible for a significant number of autism cases. This discovery may account for approximately 15% of autism, this, this common variant. How important do you think these findings are? Well, uh, it is very important because this is the first common variant to be identified. So we can now start thinking about new uh, uh, ways of uh, developing new therapies. Dr. Halkin Arson says his findings build on earlier research, some of it done by colleagues here at CHOP, that show that the brains of autistic children are wired differently. For the past five or ten years, the field of imaging has been producing findings about how the brain is wired differently, how um, areas of the brain are not in sync with one another, and we didn't have a context for understanding how did that come about. Dr. Halkin Arson's uh, findings give us a context to understand a lot of other information. Dr. Halkin Arson and his team envision a day when this gene discovery could lead to preventive therapy. The brain of a, of a child who subsequently develops autism is very normal at birth and something happens in year two or three or later down the road so there's a window of opportunity to test babies who are born and then if we have a medication, say, 10 years down the road, to now give that medication to block or prevent the problem from developing. Dr. Halkin Arson predicts that's where science will eventually be heading. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Philadelphia.